Next in our Grilla Sports previews, it's time to go to the Village Law Capital Leagues. And we're starting with Capital League One, of course. And I've got two coaches with me tonight from Sanford Rangers. We've got Terry Kirkham. Good evening, Terry. Uh, good evening, Darren. And uh, good evening, Liam. Hope you're both well. Where are you tonight, Terry? I am currently at uh, my favourite restaurant, Moo Moo's in Brisbane. Lovely. And uh, the usual Wednesday night feature for me. You've had a big steak? Uh, not yet. Diet steak because I'm on a diet and I'm an athlete, but, uh, you know, I'm heading that way, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. well, thank you for joining us tonight, Terry. We've also got from AC Karina, Liam Safe. Liam, thank you. Welcome. Good evening, Jen. And you're in, your, you're in the uh, one of the most palatial of, of rooms, your garage. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get, get away from the kids and the missus, Anna, so... Uh... I thought I'll, I'll I'll make shift in the garage. Yeah, yeah, it's not, not quite moo moos. I, I think you win this one, Terry. Oh <laughs> uh, well, it's how the other half live. You know, I'm not quite on Terry's level yet, am I? That's true. That's true. <laughs> Son of an will be. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to have a quick chat about the about the leagues, and uh, Terry, I'll just come back to you. Now, you've coached some of the biggest co biggest clubs in the region. With all due respect to Sanford Rangers, why did you choose them? Uh, look, it's a, it's, a, it's a challenge, but um, you know, they've, got a, they've got a good young squad and I've seen a lot of the boys come through the MPL system to under-18s to under-20s and, and a lot of the boys just haven't had a chance to you know, play QPL or MPL at first-team contract level. So they all, um, you know, they're playing in that local club and when I saw the playing list and, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I wanted a break also too. I've been you know, around that sort of level now for a long, long time. And the break to just get away from full-time football and move down the leagues was, was something I was looking at. And when I saw the age of the playing group and a number of the names that were there, you know, I knew I could get this group to, to play to a level that, 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 you know, that I would want to see instead of, um, you know, looking at coaching a lot of older type players, for an example, and having a bit of a laugh. So, uh, yeah, no, once I saw it, then I saw the facilities and, and what's going on down there and the investment that the council and has made and then the future of the club. I thought it's a good time for me to, to take that opportunity and, and, you know, see if we can win some things. We're in the last, you know, 15 years, I've been picking up clubs at the bottom of the league and spending three, four, five years to get them to the top or two years to get them out of the bottom to a, to a reasonable position. And I think this would be a great opportunity to take a young team forward and, and hopefully win some things. And Liam, you uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you you started your coaching career at East, is that right? Yes, I did. Yeah, juniors and got all the way up to uh, reserves, and then came to Carina in Australia, anyway. And you you spent a couple of years at Carina. It must be like home now. Yeah, I'm kind of part of the furniture now. I've been. I think this is my fourth year now. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, enjoying it, and it's a it's a good club and. The president's a, a top guy, so it makes life a lot easier when the club and the board work with you and not against you, right? So, For sure. Now, you missed out on promotion by goal difference last year. That That's correct, isn't it? Oh, well, it wasn't even goal difference. It was the same goal difference. It was they scored more goals than us, so they went up. Yeah. Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Yeah. yeah. But you've, got, you've got to feel that this is your year, right? Say that again, sorry? You've got to feel that this is your year. Oh, well, we've got a new team. A lot of those players from last year have um, moved on. A lot of them have uh, well, stay retired, but they've gone to play City League now because they're too old for this level. And, you know, they don't have the commitment anymore, some of the players with families and stuff. So we've got a brand new team. So we're almost starting again rather than trying to push on from last year. <laughs> Again. I can't hear you. All I can hear is moo moos. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with the group that you've got? Um, yes, I am. Um, we've we've improved. We, 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 like I said, we lost a lot of players. Um, and uh, you know we've we've gained quite a few players that are are just as good, if not better. So I'm um, quietly confident with the with the new group that I have. Excellent, excellent. All right.
So uh, well, let's just run through all the teams in the competition as, as we normally do with this. Um, Terry, I know that you're reasonably new to the competition, and but you, hopefully you'll know a little bit about some of the teams. So you played New Farm last week. What did you make of them? They had a good 5-0 win too. Yeah, look, um, oh, look, we did very, very well. I think we're just we're a lot fitter and, and um, you know, we used the ball exceptionally well and, um, and you know, we scored some good goals. And, 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 you know, I was very, very pleased with the way we played, but, but it was a battle, and and for our young boys against some you know good senior players, uh, you know it it, it 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 was a battle. It wasn't that simple, um, you know. So don't look at the result. And look, they're going to come together, uh, you know. And and I and I think that um, you know once once some of the teams sort of probably catch catch some of the other teams haven't done probably a bigger preseason than some of the others. I think once they get four or five games under their belt, that um, that, you know, they, they're going to cause some problems as well. So I think they just caught us on a day. We're, we're on a rise and uh, and we did well. And um, and I think they're probably missing some players and, and maybe three or four weeks behind probably where we're at at the moment. Okay. Liam, you uh, also had a, a good win, a 2-0 victory over Virginia United. Now, they've um, probably one of the more stable clubs in the competition. What did you make of them and how do you think they'll go? Um... I thought I thought they did well. Um, I thought we deserved the win. It was uh, pretty comfortable for us. They did. I think second half they had a couple of really good chances where they should have. To be fair, they should have scored. Well, at least one of them, um, and it had brought them uh, right back into the game. I think they've got a, a, a. Well, they look young. I don't know if they are young, but they look like they've got a young side, um, and they try and play good football. So. Um, yeah, I think on another day it could have easily been a draw or a result for them, but I think we just um, were too strong for them in the end. Okay. I'll uh, take on North Pine, seeing as they're my club. I have uh, I saw them play a pre-season game against Noosa, and uh, they ended up drawing that game. And Noosa are um, a well-credentialed club, got some, some mm. really good in their, in their squad. Uh, they had a 2-0 victory over Western Spirit on the weekend, and um, it's a young squad. We saw the uh, the highlights in the FFA Cup where they got pumped by Grange Thistle. Um, it, it's all about how those young guys come on. There, there aren't too many experienced heads there, but if they can grow collectively as a group, then uh, then they'll do okay. But it, it's just all about keeping them together. Um, I'm just worried that they don't have one of those – just one or two experienced heads just to, to glue it all together. And you'd know yourself, Terry, that's really important when you've got a young squad, yeah? Look, they have. And, um, and, 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 and the club's gone that way. Michael Brockwell, you know, has been around a long time. He's a, he's a long-standing North Byron person. He's a very experienced player. And, look, he's going to develop that team. You know, there, there's no doubt. I wouldn't say North Pine have, have set themselves out to go and win the league this year. They'll, um, you know, they'll have certain aims. And, and, of course, they're building for the future. So... You know, it, it, I think it's a brave move, but I think it's a good move. And if and if Michael can steer them through and you know finish in the top four, mid table, anywhere up there where they can see improvement, and um, you know that'd be a very successful year, I would have thought for them. But um, you know, once again, it, it's a gamble. But on the flip side, they've got a vision, and uh, and and it's the same as Sanford. We've got a vision as well. And you know, who's to say that someone's not going to turn up down there and, and want to play for for the club in the next four or five weeks and they gain that experience play? Because I still think that's a chance to happen as well. Sure. Now, of course, they beat Western Spirit. Do uh, do either of you have any intel on on that team? Um, well, only rumours and hearsay. But I heard that they got rid of the coach a, a couple of weeks before the season started. Um, so I, I guess that can't really be a good thing. And I think they lost a couple of players. Um, but I guess it's all rumours and hearsay. So I, I don't know anything factual. So I don't want to start. Uh, saying things that possibly aren't true, but that that's what I've heard in the, on the grapevine. Yeah, look, and to be honest with you, if, if, if that's going on just prior to a season, you know, once again, you've got to put them in the category. They're probably three, four, five, six weeks away behind probably a lot of other clubs, I'd say. Sure. Let's move on to one of the clubs that uh, got promoted into this competition, the Lakes. And they're uh, one of my near, nearby clubs. Um Great things happening at the Lakes. They, they seem to be strong all over the place. Anyone got an opinion on that club? Well, I'll start. I know a lot of the boys there, and I watched the highlight reel from the game the other night, and 
you know, and, and they've got a lot of quality, they've got a lot of experience. But, um, you know, let's face it, they scored a goal that, that you know, was probably more lucky than anything else. And, um, you know, I think they're going to be a team as well. It's that, um, you know, if they can get themselves fit and uh, and all those experienced players can all fire at once and, and keep up with, you know, with, with the fitter teams, um, you know, they're going to be thereabouts. They're certainly all being talked about. Um, but, you know, I know a lot of the boys there and, and I've coached a lot of them before. Uh, you know, it's just going to be, you know, see if they can go the mile. If they want to win the league, are, are they setting themselves out to win the league and get promotion straight away or, you know, are they setting themselves to, to just be there or thereabouts? I think that's that, the only one thing to answer that question. Liam, new coach. I, I don't know much on the lakes. Um, it'd be interesting to see how it works with the player coach scenario. That'll be interesting. Um, but other than that, I don't really know much about the lakes, to be honest. Fair I don't enough. know go that far north. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So they, they drew one all with Annalee. Liam, you must know a bit about them. Uh, yes, from last year. I, I could see that they've got a, a couple uh, of the, the new farm players from last year. Um, I know they've lost a few themselves. Um, and they got the new coaching after Duncan uh, got sacked um, or left or whatever happened there. They um, they got the new coach in um, and he's got his style of play. So they were really dangerous yesterday, uh, yesterday <laughs> last season. And um, then they just kind of fell off the, 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 the face of the earth. They just plummeted. I think they lost like eight or nine games in a row. Um, they were cruising. Um, and, you know, you know, you'd have put your mortgage on them winning the league after half the season. And then, yeah, I think the second half, they only probably, I think they only won one or maybe two games in the second round um, and ended up, you know, finishing. Um, I don't even think they made the finals. I can't remember. But they really, really fell off the face of the earth last year. Um, and I guess that's probably partly the reason why Duncan left. Um, but I guess with a new coach, uh, new faces, as well as old faces, um, I think they'll definitely be up there for sure. Excellent. Yes, we see. But God, I know much. I've only once again just seen bits and pieces on the highlight reel. Um, look, look, look. I think, I think, you know, they're going to be another team. Look, Ipswich is a strong football town, and there's a lot of things happening up there, and there's a lot of movement going around as well. So, uh, you know, look, I, I think they're going to be a team that, um, once again, give, give them three or four or five weeks, and we and we get to see them more consistently. Uh, you know, we'll get we'll get more of a vision of of how they're going to go. Uh, but but once again, there is lots of things happening in Ipswich, and um, and and you know they've got a good squad now. You just never know. Also, too, who's going to turn up in the next three or four weeks out there as well. It's going to be interesting. Sure. Anything to add there, Liam? Yeah. Well, the the coach at Ipswich, a mate of mine, uh, we work together, and um, yeah. So I, uh, I hear a lot about what they're doing and uh, his opinions and stuff, and. I think they'll do quite well this year. I think they'll finish top four. I'd be surprised if they don't. Okay. They, of course, started their season with a 1-0 loss um, at home to, to UQFC. So, good result for the students. What do you think of them, Liam? I don't know. I don't know much about them. I obviously got the match report from uh, from the Ipswich coach on, on, on what they did and, uh, uh, you know, the, the game itself and... Um, yeah, I guess uh, Ipswich were a, a, a little bit unlucky with a couple of chances that they squandered and uh, UQ took their chances in the end. Um, so it's a great win to win away at Ipswich. It's a great win because that's not a, an easy place to go uh, and, and get a result. So I guess that's good for their morale. Um, but I don't know much about the team and the individual UQ this year. There's one thing. There's one thing, Darren. I've learned over the many, many years of Ipswich. I mean, sorry, of, of UQ. You never know who you're going to get every week, and they've had some fantastic players roll through there. And it is, you just don't know, do you? Like they're, they're they're not they're not someone that's going to develop something over five years. It's a it's a change every three or four months. Depends on who rolls into the country. Very <laughs> transient. <laughs> 
All right. So uh, Mount Cavat Hawks, who'd like to have a stab at how they're going to go? They, of course, commenced their season with a 4-2 victory. Oh, well, I don't know much about them, but they've scored four goals and they've won at home. And, you know, you would say that's a pretty good start. So, you know, mate, they're an old club, aren't they? They're a fighting club. And, and, and if they've got it together down there, they're going to be a hard battle no matter what. They just need the group together. And you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of history, I would have thought. But, but, but scoring four goals and getting a good start to the season, you'd think uh, that's considering all the other results apart from Sanford's results, um, you know, you think they, they've, they've got off to a good start. Liam, you must know a bit about them. Yeah, well, they've got the old uh, St. George coach. Um, he's, he's now the coach there, and he's brought in a couple of players. So um, I think they'll be, uh, I think they'll be uh, competitive. I'm not sure they'll finish top four, um, but they'll definitely be competitive. And, and like Terry says, there's still a few, you know, a couple of months yet. Um, people can pick up players, or you know, people move clubs and stuff like that. So the dust has definitely not settled yet. Um, and teams could, you know, if they only need one or two players to to take them to that next level, and they get them over the few months, well, it's a different conversation, isn't it? So yeah. it's hard to pick. But I think at this current state, they'll definitely be competitive. But I mean, it's so. If you ask me to pick a top four, I'd, I'd probably pick about seven teams. Um, there's so many good, evenly matched teams in this league that it's so hard to to pick an actual top four. Um, but I think they'll be, they'll definitely finish uh, in the probably top five or six for sure. Okay. Would you put Brisbane Athletic in that top four? Last year, this year. <laughs> Again, it's it's too hard to it's too hard to uh, to say. Um, I mean, I don't know much about them because they've just just been promoted. I know a couple of lads that are down there. One of them used to play at my club. Um, it's a a bad start for them to be honest to lose at home. Um, they had a lot of hype about them, but I've heard you know the likes of Bernardo's moved on. Um, and uh, yeah, I just yeah, uh, I think they'll you know they're not going to finish bottom at league. Um, but to finish top four, I mean, like I said, there's, seven, there's six or seven clubs I can think of that we can have that top four conversation, and they're one of them. But I, I, I just top four, I, I, who knows, right? Who knows? It's so hard to pick in this league. It's like the Championship of Football, Brisbane. Well, literally, is, isn't it, right? <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> All right, that's the first. Sanford, without a shadow of a doubt. I've, uh, I said last year, to be fair, I think they underachieved last year. Um, I was thinking um, at the beginning of last year that um, they they would probably be above us. Um, we've been kind of gone up the leagues in the last few years together. Uh, I thought the first time in that two, so that when we won the league, I think that he'll take to the next and uh, I'm pretty confident that um, they'll hundred percent in the top three. Yes. Well, to me, I've, I've sort of uh, lost you guys a little bit there, but um, just with the coverage. But uh, look, I can only go on what what um, you know. C Forsyth says to me and tells me about the leagues, and uh, we play uh, we play Liam's team on Sunday. Uh, the big the big worry for for Steve has been Karina, uh, and uh, to be honest with you, there hasn't been too much discussed about uh, other sides. It's been about Karina, and uh, and we focused. You know, four or five weeks ago, I'm playing FFA Cup round one. We focused on playing when the league came out round one. And then we focused on playing at home against AC Carina on uh, round two. So, you know, our, our big things five, six weeks ago was to focus on those first three weeks. And we thought if we can get results in the first three weeks, uh, you know, that will be a very good sort of, uh, you know, heading for us. And um, and to be honest with you, we've got the first two right. And, uh, you know, and and we'll look forward to, 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 to playing uh, – you know, AC Karina and, and Liam on Sunday because we think that's going to be sort of a, a pretty good uh, head tail to where we're at with certainly with things at the moment. 
Liam, just in case we did have some sound issues there, can I get you to repeat the club that um, that you thought would go up instead? Uh, again? Oh, Samford, for sure. Samford. Oh, so you're tipping each other. <laughs> okay. Well, well. well we have to. That's yeah, realistically, well. though. That's 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 no disrespect to um, – that's not being disrespectful for anyone else. Um, you know, I just know what, what, what Steve Forsyth is. You know, been around the leagues a long time, like what he's told me and – about our opposition and uh, and and his worry for us as being our game this Sunday, he, he thinks that's the that's the big test for us in the league, and uh, and that that that's his view. And you know, I, I've known Liam a long time, and that does that's no disrespect to anyone else, Ipswich or whoever else. That's just at the moment our view, and we'll get to Sunday, and then you know we'll talk about it again in two or three weeks' time. Yeah, for sure. And you, I've asked you to pick someone, so you've, you've got to you know. It's like, it's like I said, though, Darren. I, I've I've been uh, picking Sanford for the last couple of years. Um, you know, since they've come to the league, I've always uh, fancied them. They've got a they've got some quality young players. And uh, I even said to Steve uh, end of last year when we're having a chat that you know if they can keep that those players, they'll 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 be the team to beat. They'll be the benchmark. And and I think with Terry coming in, uh, with the experience that he has. Uh, he'll take them to the next level, and I, I, I seriously think they'll be the benchmark for every other team this year for sure. All right. Well, we'll look out for your game on the weekend with interest. Terry, Liam, thank you so much for your company this evening. We finally got to it. It, it was a couple of weeks great. in the morning. But I uh, really appreciate your time, and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Cheers. Right. Thank you. And I'll see you Sunday, Terry. No, Liam, as I said to you, mate, I'm going to have for you, especially, <laughs> a nice meringue cake with hundreds and thousands on the top. I'm going to have your change room decked out nicely for you. I'm going to have an office for you as well. So yeah. you can go well, in this and get your recorded, mate, so if not, I've got evidence. No, 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 no. It's sorted. And then, uh, and then you and I come out Sunday night into yeah, TK. Yeah, well, I'm all over it, mate. Party time. <laughs> there we go. See you later, guys. Okay. Yeah. Darren, thank you very much. Thank you. And our big man, see you yeah. Sunday. See ya.